Hello, it's now evening time, so a great time to try this out for the first time. All right, I've got a selection of kind of kindling and wood, and this is the stuff that um, I kind of had already because we've got a wood burner. And actually these really big bits at the back, these are the bits really I would like to be able to burn on a fire pit. But I've always found like with these things, these are like the ones you put in a wood burner or an open stove, really decent sized bits of log kind of compared to my hand. Um, there we go, you can see that. Um, I've always found putting those in a fire pit, they just kind of um, smolder and they never really take and it's all a bit disappointing. So um, the, th the plan this time is to try and kind of fill this up according to the instructions. I'm not gonna use any fire lighters straight away. I've got two pieces of paper, so I'm just gonna kind of put them in the bottom. Um, there's lots of air holes in the bottom. And I'm not really sure what I'm expecting. I'm kind of not expecting miracles, but um, I think there's pretty good airflow in the bottom here. So I'm hoping for a really good draw. And if there is a really good draw, then um, I think it will mean that these two pieces of um, newspaper are really all you're gonna need. I've got some kind of small sticks as well. So let's put those in. And, um, might try and just sort of roughly arrange them in a, a bit of a pyramid, um, just like you learned at Boy Scouts. This kind of works for me doing it in the wood burner. Doing something like this kind of tends to work out quite well normally. Let's put a few more in. Um, you want to allow plenty of air in between. Now the really kind of the, the big thing, I haven't really read the instructions for this, but the one thing I have noted is just that the, the height of the wooden should should not come up to where these air holes are. You won't kind of leave those, leave those as they are. And then I've got some other bits and pieces as well. I've got some smaller pieces of wood here, these ones, and I've got a big plank of old sort of bit of pine, I've got that in as well. Um, I think you can sort of burn anything. We'll see. The only other thing I've got, um, is a timer and now uh, i'm going to time this just so just for you really so you kind of know how long it takes from kind of first lighting like this to it being ready to just kind of sit by so those glorious like flames everywhere shots that you see um in all the the kind of media and stuff so i've got my got my lighter uh i've got this one so that i can do it with one hand so let's get this thing lit then all right first light of this Solo Stove Ranger. Okay. Can't get the paper lit, it's not a great start, is it? Right, I think that's the paper lit. Let's start this timer. There we go, timer started, and as you can see, we've got sort of, sort of tentative first steps. And the wood is relatively dry. Um, I kind of keep it under cover, so I'm pretty confident it's going to be dry. Now I know lots has been said about how smokeless this is and um, I think that's you know that's gonna be really interesting to see. Obviously right now and we've literally just lit it you can't expect it to be smokeless so there is smoke I think I hope you can see that there is some smoke coming off these and that's really whilst this kindling gets lit um, and the kind of paper burns through and all the rest of it. I put it on the stand as well um, and you can see uh, not particularly worried about this patio particularly but um it was already on the stand so i thought let's keep it on the stand and see see what that's like you can see the air holes down here kind of the air comes in air comes in here and then feeds up through that bottom bit um it's not immediately jumping into life but it is doing something it is it's definitely not out or anything so it is going to catch i think i'm not particularly worried these twigs are relatively thick i suppose um so we'll just give it a few minutes like i say it's just a minute on the timer um we'll come back to it at intervals to kind of see see how it's getting on okay so we're just past the three minute mark and i do just want to show you this because uh things have kind of taken off um it was a little bit of a slow start but actually you can tell now that this is um it's got more intensity and it's got more draw than a regular fire um that kind of design of the the steel surround and all the air holes definitely seems to be playing a part and uh, we're definitely burning through this wood now. I'm going to add on some kind of slightly larger pieces as well. I don't want to smother it but let's just kind of throw that in there and see what happens. All right we're at the seven minute mark and uh, 
I think obviously this is just kind of getting more and more established. Um, in terms of ease, I would say this is on par with lighting a wood burner. Um, it's, it's really quite easy. Um, you don't have to pay any particular special attention. Just kind of get the small stuff in first, layer it up with the bigger stuff. I'm now going to add in some sort of slightly even bigger pieces at the top. Um, put those in there. And then I think um, we'll wait now until this all dies down um, and uh, down into embers and then we'll add some really really big pieces on um, and then it'll be time to kind of sit down and enjoy. I will say already actually it's noticeable how much heat is being kicked out. Um, I think you can get a lot closer to this than I, you, you know you normally would like this is already quite warm and it's going to get hot but also you can see there isn't really any smoke um, coming off it now. What you do get when the wind blows because it's quite a windy day here um, you don't get any of the smoke what you get is the heat so you get a nice kind of waft of heat coming at you um, and, and there's definitely plenty of heat obviously being kicked off here um, i guess it's really like a modern day incinerator isn't it um yeah sort of incinerators you when you had when you were a kid like uh looked a bit like dustbins metal ones with holes drawn in the bottom and they were great for burning stuff this is kind of like a posh version of that with the air holes in the top to um to take out all the smoke it's brilliant um, I really like it already. Um, it's much, much easier to use than a standard fire pit and I can see myself using this way more often. Okay, 13 minutes and I wanted to point out, we've reached that kind of point of heat where, uh, you see this with a wood burner as well, when you um, kind of starve it of oxygen a little bit, it kind of, the flames slow right down. I'm, I'm, there's probably a fancy name for that, but do you know what I mean? Like the dancing of the flames slows kind of right down and that's when you really get heat chugged out and that's that's definitely true now you can see these these logs on top they're, they're properly alight now um, and uh, everything's just burning up really really well as soon as these die down i'm going to chuck in some of these really big logs but i've got no kind of concerns that those big logs are they're just going to burn just as well um yeah, this is really you can see the kind of this is complete nine day difference from like an open fire pit that's really just a fire um a sort of contained fire this is something altogether um kind of more intense uh it actually smells quite a lot of you know hot metal which i guess is not that much of a surprise um i don't know if that's a first time thing as like the, the kind of grease from the factory and stuff gets burnt off or or whether it's an every time smell i quite like it actually um it's it's not you know uh, it's just a kind of just a very discreet sort of every now and again you get a little waft of kind of really hot metal but uh yeah so um definitely definitely taking shape now and uh yeah really impressive it's been just coming up to 15 minutes now since we first lit it and you could sit around this and keep nice and warm for sure so we're at the half hour mark and i'm going to put in one of these really big pieces um i'm not sure you you maybe should need to supposed to wait a little bit longer but i think it'll be fine to put it in and not to say that you like have to wait until you put these massive pieces in for it to throw out heat. It's already throwing out loads of heat. You could happily sit by this. In fact, we were just sitting by it talking and it's really nice. It's throwing out loads and loads of heat. In fact, I'm, an, I'm actually not quite as close to it as I was before because it's the amount of heat it's chucking out. So let's put this in. Um, that's probably a little bit high actually, if I'm honest. Um, they do sort of say you're supposed to keep it away from the, the tops where the, um, where the holes are push down and I'm sure that'll be all right. And I think this is kind of the bit I really want to test out because if you're going to have a fire pit outside, you really want to throw in some really big pieces of wood. If you're already used to indoor fires and wood burners, um, that's what you want. You want to get to that point where you can just throw in those massive pieces and leave it. Um, that's kind of the almost sort of the full like sort of width of it, if you like. So um, you can already see it's starting to catch so i've got no issue that it's gonna not catch i think so quite excited to see how this looks in another 10 minutes or so but i would say you could be sitting outside like you know having a conversation just feeding this every now and again from about sort of the 10 minute mark i'd say this is the shot you always kind of see on their advertising material on their website and stuff with the flames bursting out of the top um, and that is pretty much what we have now um, I could put more pieces of wood in here and I think the flames would kind of get up a bit higher as well, but that was that one piece. And we're at the nearly 35 minutes. So if you want to get flames that look like this um, in your fire pit, sitting around it, um, it takes one of these roughly kind of, I'd say half an hour, 35 minutes to get to this point. 
42 minutes. I'm gonna put another piece in. I probably don't need to, but um, I know it's just fun, isn't it? And uh, the amount of heat being thrown out now is, is really kind of really high. Um, it's definitely stepped it up a gear since I threw that big piece in, I think. Um, you know, we, we're kind of sitting around it and thinking this is lovely. You can really feel the heat. In fact, it's almost a little bit too hot. You don't, I'd say you probably want to be at least six feet away from this thing. Um, otherwise you're going to be hot, I think. So throw that, throw that piece in there. And uh, again, a little bit high, but I think it will sort of come down a little bit um, as, the, as it burns through. And yeah, really pleased with this. Um, I think it's um, it's really nice. It makes the process of having a fire pit really easy, and but also very rewarding because it throws back so much heat. Um, it's a very efficient way of burning, and so uh, you feel like you're getting a lot out of the effort you put into to kind of go and create a fire pit. And actually, the effort is reduced with this as well. There's you know it's nowhere near like the the kind of faff it normally is um, with a sort of a traditional fire pit, I suppose. One of the things um, that they sort of say in all their documentation and in the instruction stuff is that because it burns at such a high heat, actually it will burn itself out and it will kind of just disintegrate all down to nothing. And the amount of ash that gets retained is really minimal because it just sort of, um, because of the heat, it does just sort of burn up into almost nothing. So um, that's nice as well, because that's a real pain with, with fire pits as well. You end up sort of half burnt pieces of wood um, and all the rest of it. So that just about wraps it up for my unboxing and first light of the Solar Stove Ranger. Really big thanks again to Johnny from Earth, Wood and Fire in Norwich in the UK for gifting this to us. Um, really like this, really kind of impressive bit of kit for the amount of heat it throws out, how easy it is to use. Um, so definitely worth checking out, I think. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, you can subscribe to more videos, a bit like this. Sometimes they're like this, sometimes they're more tech-based. Um, but anyway, thanks very much for watching.